All right, so I got to ask certain questions because it was a culture shock when I got the hair told. Because when I... When I when I'm in the county jail, when I'm in the cat county mine, I go six, seven, then I got to the eighth floor. Cause I'm just like, nigga, ten years is a long time, so I'm just fighting. But when then I get the alto, I start realizing that the homosexual stuff it is different. It's different, bro. And and I I'm playing I'm playing the game before I even understand what the game about. Cause this just the culture we're going. When I be trying to tell folks about, I, they were like, "Bro, you, you, you over, you over exaggerating." I'm yeah. like, "All right, but no, nah, no, nah, you he different now. Um, Alto different, man." I'm, um, and before I speak on that part, when you go to other prisons, I do leave Alto. <laughs> Some folks be like, looking at us like we crazy as a motherfucker, man. They go to the dead nigga, yeah. Alto, bro. Uh, yeah. But go ahead. going back to the culture thing, uh, when I got down to Alto, man. I ain't know what was going on. Yeah. Everybody, they, they, nigga, slap me on the ass, and they just doing weird shit. We call it the set game. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't even care. If yeah. I looked over there and seen my own boy, fucking with a boy. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck. That was the culture we grew up in. I didn't care. Um, uh, I might not drink no coffee with the nigga, but yeah, I didn't care. Oh. Uh, it was some people used to look weird to me, man. When I first got there, I thought everybody was gay. Yeah. The it's safe to assume it. What is wrong with you guys until you figure it out? But Alto got a different beat, man. We moved to different. The prison was set up different. Uh, From any other prison. We we could walk all around the fucking prison. Man, I can just go up to a whole other unit and just do what I want to do. But yeah. Alto was different, man. You had every breed of nigga there, man. What's my... Augusta, Macon, Savannah, Atlanta, the cat, like the every, but you had smooth niggas everywhere. Everywhere, you learned it. I'm going to tell you, this was my first court shop, because when I get there, mind you, I've been in Hayes. Yeah. So I got a little understanding, but it wasn't Hayes, Hayes. This up on the top, Hayes. So I get there with some niggas that's just as green as me to one degree yeah. up. And so when we get the air talk, they finna have the bitch y'all. This the first day we yeah, y'all 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 from uh, Hayden hey, County and fucked up. Uh, they prison up too, y'all know that. Not everybody, but y'all niggas making went crazy. I don't like some of the Hayes niggas, man. Some yeah. Of them. yeah, yeah. So, bro, this is what this is what throw me off. So, I'm with fat some niggas. They ain't even make it. They just went somewhere else. But they say, man, listen, they about to have a yard call. They say the bitch is gonna be on the yard. Yeah. I'm so green. Yeah. When they say the bitch is gonna be on the yard, nigga, I start brushing my motherfucking hair. Excuse me. I say shit, man. I said, but that's it. Yeah, I heard bitch is gonna be on the yard. Shall we get to the yard? Fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fat out there. They got a nigga look like uh, Otis Nelson used to play for the uh, yeah. for, for yeah. the Braves. Yeah, yeah, Otis Nelson. So, yeah, so, yeah, Otis Nix, my bad. So then I'm looking around, and then it just started cackling. My second GED kicked in. I was like, oh, these the bitches that they're talking about. Yeah, man. I said, man, they different right here. Then I look back, so I was like, I don't want to be on the yard, but you out, you out here. Stuck. Yeah, you stuck, man. And they sitting, and they sitting out there different. Yeah. With all these different cloudy. And you looking like it did real. And with, that con real. and with that concept, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff done to play. Yeah, yeah. Down, down. In the cloud, but yeah, because it was unreal. Yeah. It's almost like they were dropping them up within in the middle of the camp. Like, like, how can I say you take a motherfucker that look like Jada Pinkins and drop him in the middle of the prison and what you, you say from the heaven. Then this, now this is crazy now. This, and I'm just being honest, bro. So at one point in time when I was at Hayes, the hustle was the stamps in the six magazines. Yeah, that was that, was that was my hustle. Cause I was like, then I'm at the top, I'm on the fast track. So the juveniles, they buying the cigarettes. They then when they were selling yeah, cigarettes yeah. on the store. But then they, you know, they in ITP mode, they push ups and running. So even if I ain't got no money, I can send a flex pack over there, get the stamp. Yeah. I buy me a book. Yeah. I laminate the book. Yeah. So then, I'm, I'm, so, but then 
At some point in time, we get out talking about, and this one to, to this day I can't figure this out, bro. They start letting you get them books in. Period. You know what? I remember when they stopped that man. It wasn't even a. It wasn't even a warrant. It's almost like it is what it was. They wanted. They wanted. They wanted. They wanted uh, a community to, to fail. Uh, Al told us they wanted. They designed it to fail. They took. They took some out of that. Stop people from raping each other. Stop. Yep. Stop black men from having sex with each other, man. They took it out of prison, and I'll never forget. They turned the temperature up. They turned the temperature up, y'all. Yeah. I literally watched them. them white people take porn magazines mm -hmm. away from people and made these guys who never, most of them never even had sex when they came to prison. Facts. That's a girl on the truth. That's a girl on the truth. So, tree. when they got them, and they finally masturbating and getting their first nut. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're thinking something different. And a lot of them did, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as much as I can talk about it, that one of the sad attorneys I ever got a chance to witness in. Oh, mm -hmm. praise, oh. Some people you love, you see them doing the most.